Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Let's start off by putting our hair to the back so that it's not in our way when we're doing our eyeshadow. By the way, I already put on my foundation and I did my eyebrows. Uh, you guys, I had a really bad allergic reaction, I think, to the moisturizer I was using for the previous video, actually. And as you guys can see, I broke out from one day to another. I got all these pimples in my face. So, yeah. But anyways, um, the point is that my skin is better now, so let's get started. We're going to be using the Morphe by Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection and we're going to be using the palette called Bling Boss and this is what it looks like. We're going to be starting off with the color Sparks. This is what it looks like and we're going to take a fluffy blending brush just so that we can apply this as our base and we're only going to be applying this on our outer corner and inner corner. Just a quick tip when you're blending in that eyeshadow, make sure you're doing it in circular motions. One thing I personally like about these eyeshadows from The Vault, that they are so good. They're, wherever you place the eyeshadow color, it stays. Like You really have to blend that shit for it to go wherever you want it to go. So... Also, another thing, these eyeshadows are the only eyeshadows that I trust applying on my face when my foundation is already done. Because I know that a lot of these purple, well, all these dark eyeshadows, they're very powdery and, and they just, they make a big mess. Like you, if you don't do this right, you're going to look like you have a purple eye. <laughs> so that's, that's the good thing about these, about these eyeshadows that they actually stay in that spot. I didn't even have to use my little fan brush to remove any leftover powder or anything. Next, we're going to be applying this on our inner corner and carefully going to place this right on top of our lash line where our eyelid begins. Do not put this in the inner corner. We don't want this to look like a purple eye. After we're finished blending that eyeshadow with whatever is left over on the brush, because I know that there's not a lot of product left, we're going to use that to connect those two together very, very lightly. Next, we're going to be going in with the shade Rockstar and we're going to be using a smaller brush to apply this only because we don't want to make a mess. The color is way darker, so we want to make sure that we keep it in that specific spot where we're applying it. Remember that it doesn't matter how long it takes you to blend the eyeshadow as long as you get the job done. Once 
When there is not enough product on your brush anymore, go ahead and connect those two together again over the other eyeshadow like we did the first time. Next, we're going in with the shade Mystic, and we're going to be using an even smaller brush for this eyeshadow. Next, we're going to be going in with the eyeshadow Glitz and Glam, and we're going to be applying this with a flat brush. Next, we're going to be using the shade Rockstar, and we're only going to grab a little bit of product. Literally, just tap your brush onto there. And we're going to be dragging this towards the center of our lid so that it blends in with the shimmery shade. Next, we're going to be going in with the shade Sparks, and we're only going to be applying a little bit. Just tap your brush on the product, like I said before, and we're going to blend those shadows out together. Next, we're going to be using that small brush with the shade Mystic, and we're going to be applying this on our lower lash line. And also, you guys, I'm not going in all the way to that inner corner, just half ways, so it doesn't look like we have a purple eye. Next, I'm going in with the shade Rockstar, and we're going to follow the exact same steps. And finally, we're going to be going in with the shade Sparks, and we're going to blend those two out with that color and make it look a lot more smoky. Next, I'm going in with my mascara from Wet n Wild, Max Volume. And I'm only going to be applying a little bit of mascara just so that my fake lashes blend in with mine. Also, don't forget to apply some mascara on your lower lash line, no matter how small they are. I mean, like I mind, they're like stupid small. <laughs> it doesn't matter, you still need that on there. So go ahead and apply it, and then we will finish off by applying our false lashes. 
These are the lashes I'm gonna be using for the second time. They are called Whatever, and they are from KJ Lashes. Also, you guys, for any of you that are interested in purchasing these lashes, I will link it down below. You can use my discount code, Emily15, and you will receive a free gift when you purchase your lashes. They're only $7. I'm going to be using the duo glue, just so you guys know, this is my favorite glue, I've mentioned it in my previous videos, because this glue does not leave a trail, it doesn't leave a black line or anything, it's just clear and it dries out so fast and so good. So, if anything, I recommend this glue to any of you guys that have any issues with your lashes. Look at these lashes, they're so pretty and dramatic, and they're only $7. Anyways, next we're going in with the NARS palette, and I'm going to be applying some bronzer. This one right here. And I'm going to be applying this on my cheeks, and on my forehead, and a little bit on my jaw, just so that it outlines those areas, and my face is more defined. But just not too defined, because we don't want this to look like our face is beat as fuck. So... Let's take this a little bit lightly and put it on smoothly. Next, we're going in with the shade Escapist from Maybelline. And this is a very, very dark purple, like a plum look. It's very, very pretty. And these colors do not come off that easily, you guys. So if you want a lipstick that lasts you almost all day, this is a lipstick I recommend. And they are not sticky like others. That where you like press your lips together, you can like feel it. It feels nasty. These are not like that. So I recommend these lipsticks. Next, we're going to be applying some highlighter from the NARS palette. This is the shade I'm going to be using. After that, we will be spraying our brush with some setting spray so that it can intensify our highlight. We're also going to be highlighting the tip of our nose and the bridge of our nose. And with that exact same highlighter, I'm going to be putting some on our brow bone just so that the eyeshadow stands out a lot more. And that completes this makeup tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video.